Hello, Paul is the best for UK. Welcome to my video. This is Dynamite Heady on the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis. So let's have a look at this one. So press start to start the game. This one's from 1994. Oh, it's gone into demo mode. One sec. Let's press start on that. So this game is designed by Treasure, 1994 Sega as well, so we start the game, and here we go. So let's just start the game. So this is a getaway, so this is the first level, and then you're instantly put into the action. As you can see, there's multi-layered parallax scrolling, very fast gameplay. Uh, the game actually runs smoother than my YouTube video because there's a slight uh, slow down in frames per second in my YouTube video. But yes, this is very fast, very colourful, very impressive in fact for a 68000 processor. Obviously it makes good use of the Sega Mega Drive's custom uh, graphics hardware. So you are, at first sight you are um, battling this monster right here, or whatever it's supposed to be. It's like, like a boss. And you just keep hitting him. You, you literally throw your head at him. Plus, it's a bit like Rayman in a way, where his head is not detached to the body. Uh, so the plane comes across. As you can see, all this is being done and rendered on a Mega Drive, which is very impressive. The music's really good, it's full stereo, and it's got really catchy. So we come to the end of that part. And it's like a set. So, uh, and you're like in some sort of movie studio and he's a cat oh look at the cat he's not so on there is he ah! so you get these uh, whatever they are like powerful things and these uh, guys in the background will drag this in this new picture into the background whilst the action is going on in real time so it's multitasking in a way so as you can see, you've got to keep firing your head at him. He will keep doing this, and at this point, you won't be able to do anything. You have to wait, and then he will flash. We, we can't hit him when he's flashing like that. Ah, it's going to get me. So now I can hit him. Have some of that. It only takes two shots on easy mode. So there we go. I've done the first stage already. So we we'll just count down the score for us. The, the final scores at the bottom. So on to level two. Well, this one, it will just do a little dance for you. And th this one is uh, called practice area. So there's various rooms you can go in. Uh, as you can see, all the background there's animation going on and stuff. It's very complicated the way they've done it. Uh, head case. So the, these little blocks right here, you can change your head to different heads. Uh, so watch out for these baddies at the bottom. So if I try and hit one of these, uh, yeah, you can hit you can hit the baddies with your head. But this is a different head, as you can see, with stars on it, and there's a bomb head. But you plant the bomb and then you set it off. Have some of that. And so yeah, there's lots of different heads on the top right is how many I've got to get, so I've got to get 30 of the baddies. And top left is the uh, energy meter, it's like a stage light, and it's got a H in it for heady, I presume. And uh, as I get smaller and the color changes, your energy is starting to deplete. So, if the H is big and it's green, that means you've got full energy, but when it comes near the red, that means you're going to die soon. So as you can see, it's turning red now, so I've got to be careful. Oh, you can use this vacuum head. I love the music. Really catchy. Sorry. So we keep going. I've done that bit, but I'm very low on energy because, as you can see, it's red flashing and it, there's, no, there's no H on there at all. Top left. But luckily. Once you come out the level, it's gone back to green again. So 
These are just uh, bystanders, you can't kill them. Why you'd want to anyway. Toys in the Hood is the next level. So this is more of a danger level than a friendly level. So this is scene 2 too. There's so much going on on the screen at once, it's quite remarkable really. Considering this Mega Drive is quite an old system. I don't think the uh, cartridge has got any custom chips in it that uh, accelerates anything. I think it's just all literally done on the Mega Drive hardware. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's just literally the Mega Drive that's doing all the processing work. Of some of that, so you can shoot that off. See, there's so much various to the levels as well, it's quite unique. Uh, it's not always the same game, it's like there's different paths you can take, different levels and stuff, it's really good. Uh, still plenty going on. Shoot your head at these to climb up things. Grab that. So I've got the bonus head, this whoops you into a bonus stage. So it's a bit, bit of basketball here now, so what you've got to do is you've got to use your head to hit the balls into the baskets. It's not easy. Because uh, these baskets are constantly moving. See what I mean by the various, vari various different ways of the game is it's not always the same game. It's one of the later Mega Drive games. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, it's done by a company called Treasure. And they've done a really good job, if I'm honest. It's, it's, it's fantastic. So, I'm, I'm going to get one sooner or later. Yes! Oh, no, no. Oh, you've got to get them in the right, the right ones as well. I uh, forgot about that. Work on your game. So back to the game again and the... Oh! Yeah, you can push this boulder down here and that will get rid of all them down there. Have some of that. So I've got to use this moving platform to uh, get up there. Uh, yeah, like that. So, so we keep going. Watch out for these feet right here in the style of Monty Python. Have some of that! No, there's another boss here, I'm just gonna keep hitting him. We use this uh, attraction thing which makes you hit him and uh, makes you lose energy, but you just have to keep firing your head at him. Watch out for when he does that. Using a blowing away method this time. Have some of that! Watch out, because he does jump a lot and he tends to jump on you if you're not careful. Have some of that! Oh, these badges are cool. So we keep going. Now this bit, I can either go up or, or underneath, but I need to keep finding... I need to do... Oh, I've fallen asleep. Oh dear. Not quite sure what the point of that head is, but yeah. So as you can see now, I'm a little one. So yeah, see what I mean. Original ideas in the game. Uh, can use little heady to get down this little gap. So we keep going. Have some of that. Graphics are superb, as you can see. The sound is superb. Very colourful, very detailed, and plenty of parallax scrolling, lots going on in the background all the time. I mean, then windows are opening in the background and short in, as you can see. Just little touches like that make the game really, uh, really good. He, he's a cat's head flying for some reason. There is some strangeness to the game. And a massive d dog sort of character comes on wheels for some reason, and a key on top of it. So this little guy here will point you where the uh, impact point is. Ouch! So yeah, so you got to keep hitting the tail. 
a little button, circular tile at the end. Watch out for the caterpillar right here. The arrow will point, tell you where it's going to land next. As you can see, it's quite impressive that the Mega Drive can do all this. Like. And even in the background, there's still people playing the, the, the instruments and stuff. It, it's just a really the uh, top-notch quality game. Have some of that. So dog's energy is on the right. You see, we're both very similar, so I've got to be careful I don't die. Watch out for the basketball. Don't know where that's coming from. Have some of that. Oh. No, whoa, 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 careful, I, I think it's one more touch and I'm dead. I'm very close to getting this guy. Ooh, that was close. Have some of that. Yes, I did it. I cannot believe it. It's got some funny speech in it. So I've done that stage. So as usual, it will count down the points. Add them to my total score. It's like a lot of games do that. Does a little groovy dance. A little bit of a cutscene here, animation. And there is love struck. Oh, isn't that sweet? He's still a bit confused, but now he's ready to go on his journey. Now this one's called Down Under. This level's very impressive because it's got moving platforms, as you can see, in like a sort of 3D effect, which is very impressive. Cool. You'll see in a minute once I get to the next platform. See, as it rotates, making it look very 3D and very clever uh, use of graphics hardware to make drive right here. The uh, background's got flashing red in it to give it a cool atmospheric look. The uh, it's like underground it's supposed to be and the, the platform at the bottom is constantly moving moving across. It gives it sort of the cool effect. Which is really cool actually. Um, so Ed, I did, Ed I achieved this on the Mega Drive hardware I'm not sure but it's obviously uh, quite a sophisticated capable machine. Anyway I'm going to give this one 10 out of 10. Highly recommended. Buy it if you've got a Mega Drive. Goodbye.